But fact, guys, there have been some rumors about this before, and yet again, we have a leak that this is finally coming this Thursday with Oshipo. We have Draft Mode. Draft Mode coming to Pokemon Unite. Hopefully, this is true. Um, it got leaked by a bunch of people who are talking about it right now. We have some pictures here as well, how the screen is going to look like. And I really, really hope it happens in ranked. I hope this is not something for, you know, competitive only, but also for ranked. And this is going to be something this game has needed for ages. It has been so important that ranked has not had this feature yet. And it's going to just change Unite forever. Right? But for the better, I'm going to tell you for the better. Of course, some casuals might get a bit, you know, scared by this. And they're like, oh, what is all of this? I just want to play my one Pokemon and call it a day. But this should improve ranked by a lot. So what is a draft? A draft is where both teams pick a Pokemon one after another, which means you can't pick doubles. So if team A picks Cinderace, team B can't pick Cinderace. And also both teams can ban a Pokemon that literally cannot be used at all, which is something we need because, you know, let's say Sableye release or Dragonite release or Dralodon being released. When new po Pokemon that are just insanely overpowered come out, the players have a chance to ban those, right? They have a chance to just ban them and be like, we don't know what to deal with this until they balance it out. Or if they overbuff something like Psycho Cut Up Soul, right? Or Mr. Mime, it finally allows us to have counterplay. So here are some pictures of how, again, how it looks like. Here we on top of the bands, then we have all the players right here. And I'm going to go over how this banning works. So let me just look at the treats right here. So about, about drift picks, according to Overs information, it will probably be implemented on Thursday, December 1 which is in two days. So with Oshifu and the new ranking season starts, it's supposed to happen. And then we have some more information right here. When you reach must rank, draft mode will be released in draft mode. You must vote for a Pokemon to be banned and select Pokemon at the same time. And Pokemon that have already been selected in one game cannot be selected. So everyone in their team votes on a character to ban. That's also quite interesting. Um, so it's not just one person deciding it, it's a team vote. So if a Pokemon by both teams is banned like four times, let's say four people ban Absol, then three people ban Lucario, Absol will be banned for one team. So that is quite, quite interesting. You can see right here, people can vote. These three players voted on Absol, and then Absol got banned. I don't know why Absol is also here banned, I guess they also might have banned Absol. So that's quite interesting. Also, it only happens after mastering. So for the people that, you know, just don't have to deal with it too early, they will have to start dealing with the mastering. I'm not sure about this, I feel like it's going to be quite weird when someone makes it to master and suddenly the game is super, super different. But I think that's fine. I think that is fine that it starts at mastering. Um, then what else do we have right here? Voting for Pokemon to ban each other. Pokemon with a large number of votes will be banned. Pokemon with the same number of votes will be randomly banned. So, you know, if you have everyone bans one Pokemon, then one gets selected to be banned. It's kind of, I don't know if I like this too much. I hope that people just know what to ban. Because there could be a pretty frustrating scenarios if the wrong Pokemon get banned. And then both teams can be banned, can ban the same Pokemon. Okay, so yeah. If your team all bans up so and the enemy team all bans up so it's only Absol being banned. Which I think is fine. I think that's fine. It doesn't really yeah, I think that's totally fair. Like in League of Legends, what they what they do in League of Legends is every player gets to one one gets to one gets to ban one character. And it doesn't matter if the enemy team's banned it as well, it still stays as one banned character. So everyone gets to ban one character. Obviously, we don't have enough Pokemon for this yet, but something for the future. Every single player bans one Pokemon, and that's it. So it can be between 5 and 10 bans, depending on what one team bans and the other team bans. It can be 5 to 10, you know, characters gone, which I think is pretty reasonable. So this is kind of the same, but instead of having 5 votes, you vote as, as a team, right? So, interesting. And then the last tweet, which I actually, this is kind of, I guess triple Qs could kind of dedicate, um, could kind of dedicate what's getting banned, right? If you try your Q, they can kind of decide on what's getting banned. That's why try your Qs probably have to be gone as well. Actually, yeah, yeah sure they have complete control over banning. The Pokemon exchange book can be activated when all the Pokemon already owned by the player become unusable. Start the Pokemon selection pool using the higher level Pokemon pool. If none of the first Pokemon pools can be selected, maybe start the second pool. So that might just mean that if all Pokemon are picked that you own, you get to choose from a certain amount of Pokemon. So normally in other games is if you don't have enough Pokemon to draft with, you can't play ranked, right? But I guess it would be kind of weird if someone goes from Ultra, they're able to play Ultra, they're able to master rank, and suddenly they don't have enough Pokemon to play anymore. So I guess they just open something up. That could be quite weird because it's going to end to a lot of people first timing Pokemon. That's also going to be weird. Um, but yeah, I really hope this happens in two, two days. I'm going to see what it looks like. So let's say this team, three of them ban, uh, say, Aegislash banned. This guy says Greedent. This guy says, I don't know, we ban 
really tough. So an XJ is going to get banned for this team. And then we have, let's say, this team, two vote Charizard, two vote Lucario, and one guy votes Venusaur. And then Lucario or Charizard will be banned. And let's just say it coin flips onto Lucario, right? And now this is how this works. Or that's how it works in normally in other games. I don't know, like, do people pick at the same time? I would assume they pick one after another. I'm not quite sure because it's said right here. Was it this tweet? You must vote for Pokemon to be banned and select at the same time. I'm not sure what this means. Like at the same time, but yeah. Um, I assume it's gonna be hopefully one after another picking, otherwise, it doesn't really make too much sense either if everyone just hovers it because then there's already draft board, right? So, um, but I, we can only see right here there's a timer, so yeah. Here, Tinder is okay, yeah, no, it's like that. So, I will explain in a second. This person is choosing right now, these two can prepare, and then it's gonna be this guy picks, so one team has first pick, these two pick, then these two will be next, then these two will be next, then these two will be next. And then this will be the last guy to pick a Pokemon. And I guess the order is probably going to be randomized. I assume so. Right now we have an order going into a lobby. We have always triple Qs on top or a Duke Q on top. And otherwise it's kind of, you know, rank by rank. So the highest ranked player is top and then it goes down. I wonder if it will be the same or if they're just going to randomize it. I assume they're going to probably randomize it to make the most sense. So yeah, both teams pick. Ben right here, one Ben, one Ben. And then let's say this guy... I'm going to pick some Mr. Mime, still pretty good Pokemon, and then they have to respond with like an Eidegoss or something, which is not going to happen, right? We're going to have some weird, weird drafts. And then it switches over back to this team. They pick this, and then it switches back over to this team, and then it switches over to this pick, and then last pick. And I already can see some... Imagine like people picking weird things like triple attacker with this as well. That would be very funny. So it's like... They pick this, and the enemy team is just very try-hard, and your team picks, like, three attackers. But it's probably going to happen, right? It's not going to stop people from probably not picking attackers. But what this means is that certain head items become much more valuable, right? Something like Assault Vest, or maybe Defensive Emblems, have always been a problem of you have no idea who you're playing against. Same for battle items. So now you can finally decide, do I need a full heal? Do I need the jack button? Do I want a sword vest? Maybe I want defensive emblems. They have full physical attackers. You know, you can finally decide on what head items you want to play against the enemy team comp, which is something that has annoyed me for so long already that I couldn't really tell. So, because right now I go into a game always having full heal on on almost every Pokemon because of Sableye. But what if the enemy team doesn't even have a Sableye? Then I just have full heal and I don't even want to use it because I'd rather have the Jack button than if I'm not against Sableye, right? Or you're against the Charizard, you'd rather have full heal as well. Oh, yeah, the enemies actually are very squishy, so you want to run an X attack, right? Like, it just depends now. So, this is going to open up so many more different things, and also so many more Pokemon, right, to be played, because there could be something like uh, this Pokemon counters this Pokemon. So, if you first pick, I don't know, Absol, and, uh, or like you first pick, I don't know, Decidueye, and then this guy is like, oh, I'm just going to Gengar the Decidueye. So, there's a lot of going to be a lot of strategy revolving around this. And if your team sees, like, oh, Decidueye is here, maybe I steal away a Blissey, so this team can't pick Blissey. Right, and then you have to pick Eidegoss, or they might pick double support or something. It's going to open up a lot of things for the game, a lot of strategy. Of course, I'm going to make videos about it and try to help you guys out at drifting as much as I can in the future as well and make videos about it. Also, it's going to make the competitive scene or the tournament scene more so much more fun to watch. We already have tournaments where we have drifting, but not every single tournament has drifting yet, especially the ones from Pokemon Unite, right? They were all just blind pick, 5v5, the same Pokemons on both sides. So it's going to make tournaments so much more fun to watch. And I'm going to be looking so forward to either playing or casting. I really want to cast, though, because casting is also very fun and a bit less stressless <laughs> than uh, playing. But I might consider playing again. I always was like, I really don't enjoy the mirror matchups. That's why I kind of stopped playing tournaments. So maybe with this coming back, I might consider it again. But otherwise, I will be 100% casting. If you haven't seen my casting, you can check out my second channel where I post tournament videos. And you can prepare for this as well and see what pro players do when it comes to these drafting, especially the last European League tournament I had. It was really fun to watch. It had drafting in it, so you can kind of see and prepare for it maybe as well by watching some of those videos. And again, it's going to be very fun as well for the tournament scene. Let me know what you think about draft mode. Are you looking excited for it? If you're not playing Unite right now, you're going to come back for it and, you know, try it out yourself. I really hope it drops in two days. I hope we didn't get baited or anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys see you in the next video. Bye.